Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me with the mic? Perfect. Well, it's great to be here. Uh, my name is Jack Swab. I am a PhD student and graduate instructor in the geography department, and I've had the privilege over the past year to be teaching students introductory human geography. And on the first day of class, I bring my students in and I say, what do you think geography is? And most of the time, they say something about maps. They say, oh, well, you know, we're going to study maps in this class. And uh, hasn't everything been mapped? And so the first thing that I really have to work with them on is getting them to start questioning their assumptions about what the world is and how we see the world through maps. And so to do that, I give them a blank, a piece of paper that has a, a map of the continental United States on it. And I say, I want you to identify on this map where you think the American South is. Collect that map, a day or two goes by, and I bring those maps back, but I have them scanned. And what I've done is I've scanned them and put them together so that the students can understand and see how their classmates think about where the American South is. And so this leads to my second point. Almost immediately, as soon as you start putting these maps up, people start jumping up and asking questions. Who thinks that New Mexico and Arizona are part of the South? Who thinks that Florida isn't part of the South? Is Kentucky in the South or is it not in the South? Is there a difference between the Deep South and the regular South? All sorts of questions start coming out. And it immediately allows my students to start thinking about their own positionalities and think about how it empowers them to start thinking about how uh, essentially how they create knowledge and see the world. This ultimately allows them to move to the next part that is so fundamental to building learning and ensuring that they can learn not only from the beginning of my class, uh, but in a lot of other classes as well, that they start to build community. Because it's kind of funny to think about who, uh, who thinks that certain places aren't part of the South and who thinks that certain places are. Learning about that and learning from our peers is one example through how uh, I do this in my classroom. And so this is just one of several exercises that I do where I work with maps and I work with students on how they think about maps in order to understand and help them question assumptions, enable them to start thinking about why they think uh, the way that they do and create community to foster additional learning. So thank you very much.